Now, Property Brothers is back in the city free zoning. We are in District 12. We are bringing you to a hidden gem that we think has fallen under the radar. P 2004. The unit that we are standing in today, that's at 764 square feet. One bed, one bar, very comfortable inside. So definitely that will be more convenient in a sense as well. So definitely that will be more convenient in a... So definitely that will be more convenient sense. So ah, I was like... Okay, so... Real in nature and also at an attractive per square foot entry price. So let's go. Just before we kickstart the home tour, just want to share a little bit about the project statistics. So, 10 year of property, free home in nature, total units here comprises 137 residential units, TOP 2004. The unit that we are standing in today, that's at 7, 6, 4 square feet, one bed, one bath, very comfortable in size. And if you want to pull out the floor plan, we have the living, dining, a full enclosed kitchen, a service yard, a master bedroom, as well as master bathroom. I think with that, I'm probably going to kickstart the home tour at the foyer area. Coming in from the entrance itself, we are standing at the foyer area. In the renovation scope of things, lots of thought has been put into place. So for example, this is actually where the bomb shelter is being located. All this is actually flushed seamlessly. Coming towards the front portion, this is actually dedicated as the main dining area of the unit. But technically, the owners have kind of partitioned this area up. This will make a great space for a kind of a work from home station. You can comfortably put in a desk, you can sit two people. So all this are actually bifold door. So if you do need a bit more privacy, you can definitely close this all up. Alternatively, if you want to convert this into a second bedroom-wise, uh, that can be done. Just got to remove this bifold door, perhaps put in the partition as well as a door right here. Moving on, nice space right here. So this is currently where where the shoe cabinetry system is in place. Nice pull-out drawers, makes things very organized as well. I'll definitely say that if you want to have a bigger cabinetry system, you can definitely do that. You can actually flush the entire wall length here with more storage space as well. So moving forward, that is where the main living room and dining room is currently being located. Currently, this area right here sits a four-seater dining table. This is inbuilt. But I'll say that in the grand scheme of things, the main style for this area here is actually the living room space. Very comfortable in size. I don't think you can get this nowadays, especially when the one bed here has been inching more towards the four to five hundred square feet region. Wall to wall is about three point three meters. Ceiling height is also pretty decent. You do get a three meters ceiling height, which is one of the main plus points for having a patio unit because usually for project wise of the penthouse as well as the patio units do get a little bit of a higher ceiling height as compared to the intermediate kind of units. If you want to do it in, let's say, a full feature wall, that can be done as well. You do get to retain a very good and comfortable kind of viewing distance from your couch to your television as well. You want to throw in a slightly bigger L-shaped sofa, that can be done as well. So moving onwards to the patio space, one thing that we really like about this area right here is that it's not too big or neither is it too small. So in terms of the utilization of the space here, it's extremely functional. So currently it's being used as an area for the current occupiers to do out some plans. But if you want to reorientate your dining table right here to enjoy the alfresco kind of dining, that can be done as well. Shelter system has already been done up. In that way also, you don't really need to be that concerned. It rains. So one of the benefits as well of staying in the patio unit is that through all these kind of trees right here, this then provides a lot of shelter from any direct sunlight coming in but yet at the same time you still do get to enjoy the natural brightness coming into the unit. If you were to pull out the site plan, you got a total of two blocks. In terms of this unit wise, essentially you won't get any neighbors kind of walking through this area right in front of your patio, which is also one of the major considerations for most patio lovers out there. At the center, this is where the main facilities is being located. So moving forward, that is where the direct entrance is being located. In terms of the kind of facilities, there is actually a jogging path surrounding towards the perimeter of the project. Facing right here, this is towards Long Lima, which is actually a minor road. This is slightly situated, slightly further away from the main Balestier Road right here. We 
before we show you the main master bedroom of this place, I just want to share a little bit about the exciting kind of developments happening in this area. So as we all have known, the most recent HGB to which is uh, MOP status right here actually be in Jalan Tenteram. And the forums in that specific area is mainly transacting between the 700,000 to the 850,000 region, which is actually inching closer to the million dollar mark. This is actually a very strong indicator of the kind of performance level in the area. And why is this important is that looking at the upcoming developments in the area, currently we have four empty plots of land in the area with the most recent relocation of Global Indian International School. And this is crucial as newer developments will determine new benchmark pricing within the area. And based on what is displayed from the URA a master plan. This has been zoned as residential but subjected to detailed planning. But based on the surrounding plot ratio, we can see that this can potentially go as high to 3.5. So in addition to that, one plot has been zoned as educational. The last plot has been zoned as a park to inject vibrant lifestyle into the area. So in the most recent news, we can also see that Curtin Singapore will also be relocated to another location which will then free up another plot of land and will bring the total amount to 5. In terms of what is to look out for in this area wise, it's our thing definitely us being of a freedom nature you don't have to worry that much about having a lease decay before you can actually read in the benefits of this new development so this is something interesting and definitely something to keep out an eye for so i think definitely with that let's proceed back to the home tour portions of this video Coming into the master bedroom itself, one thing that we really want to point out is that space-wise is extremely comfortable. So current setup, this is of a queen-size bed, but definitely if you want to do up to a king-size bed, that can be done comfortably. You got your four panels, inbuilt wardrobe space right here. Flooring-wise, this is of a parquet flooring. If you really want, you can kind of give it a good buffing as well as a varnish. You got a little portion of space right here to have some pull-out drawers, but if let's say you do need a space for your dedicated kind of vanity counter table for the ladies out there, definitely this can be a space to kind of accommodate that. At the back right here, this is where the work station is being located right here comfortably you can have a monitor as well as the laptop set up some storage spaces up there then towards the back this is where the master ensuite is being located so master ensuite all decked out floorings as well as walls are all decked out in marble you got your basin right here you got a standing shower area you got your wc as well as a bathtub with a ventilation window up top but the thing that we want to point out is that probably if let's say you want to convert this master ensuite to a jack and jill probably that can be done as well you just got to relocate where the sink location is at Hack away the bathtub, relocate the sink to be in that orientation. Then, in lieu of where the current sink is being located, probably this will be where the second doorway is being located. So, I think that will be more convenient as well as more efficient in terms of layout. So, then again, if you do have any guests over, definitely they can head into the washroom without entering your master bedroom. I think for own stay buyers as well as for investment opportunities, this unit being of a freehold nature, I think probably this will take some of the checkboxes out there. So moving onwards to the kitchen space, I think that if you do quite a fair bit of cooking, definitely going to love the size of the kitchen because for one bedroom standing at 764 square feet, a kitchen of this size is definitely a rarity moving forward. And the best part of it is actually still enclosable through this sliding door right here. This is of an elongated fashion, lots of top hung and bottom storage space both on my left and right. Through this portion, this is where your three system open flame cooker is being located. You got your cooker hood, your cooker hob, this is where your fridge space is being located. Towards the back, this is where your door sink is being located. Your some drawing rack right here and towards the back this is where your service yard can be found definitely you can do out your washer come dryer system but you can also do out some drying racks like how it's being orientated at the moment then towards the back that is where your direct refuse chute is being located too want to share a little bit on the kind of price point as well as the entry prices in terms of the one bidder category. So just to name a few projects, the one bidder entry prices. So first up, Cradles, this TOP in 2015 per square feet entering range is about 1005 to 1008. The interwith TOP 2014 per square feet range is 1007 to 1008. Prestige Heights, this TOP in 2011 per square feet range is about 1007 to 1008. Viridian, TOP 2015 per square feet range is about 1004 to 1008. D-Lotus, per square feet range is about 1004 to 1005. And if you were to look at where the new backup pricing is being located. We can take a look at the verticals. This project expected TOP will be in 2024 and the per square feet transacted price is already hovering between the 2000 to 2002 per square feet region. So coming back to our unit standing at 764 square feet, our asking price is 1.1 million negotiable which then places the per square feet entry price to be about 1000 odd region. 
In terms of the monthly mortgage breakdown based on the 75% loan to value, the conservative 1.5% interest rate over a loan tenure of 30 years, which then places the monthly mortgage at a comfortable 2847 per month. So if you're looking for this as an investment standpoint, the rental market based on what has been transacted for this unit is between the region of 2005 to 2006, which then places the rental yield to be about 2.8% region. But of course, this figure is actually based on our full housing price, which is actually negotiable. So the figure mentioned above is just to provide some clarity to the baseline level that you'll be looking at as an investment point of view. So based on the per square feet that this unit is currently going for, in consideration of the per square feet of the immediate surrounding nature, we can then see that there is actually this thing what we call as this disparity effect. And this then creates a buffer on the potential on how this project can definitely appreciate in the years to come. So in addition to that, definitely one of the key pointers of staying in this specific area in the city fridge zoning is definitely the convenience as well as the connectivity that this location has to offer. So if you were to pull up the location plan, this is actually located towards the entrance of Balestier Road to then lead you to CTE and it's also connecting to PIE. So the benefit of staying in this city fringe zoning is that you are of an extreme close proximity to the core region of Singapore as well as the CBD districts which is super convenient. So for example, you'll be able to hit certain key areas such as Raffles City in under 10 minutes. So the nearest MRT Novena, three stops to Bishan, which is actually the intersection toward the circle line. So one stop in the other direction, you'll hit Newton, which is actually the intersection for the downtown line. And additional stop for that, you'll hit Orchard. So this will bring you to the upcoming Thompson East Coast line. You are also easily connected to Somerset, Dobie God, as well as City Hall. So definitely connectivity is one of the advantages in staying in this location. For facilities located within Park Haven, you have lab pool, wading pool, barbecue pits, clubhouse which mainly has a gymnasium, full on basement parking, so there's two levels of basement parking which is fully sheltered towards your lift lobby. And we are also within close proximity towards many eateries such as the Wampo Makan Place, as well as the rows of shop houses where you can find lots of good foods and eateries along the Balestia Road. So for your daily amenities run, you can head over to Shaw Plaza which is currently going under full revamp. Stipulated completion date will be roughly this year. Alright, so if you'd like to find out more about this one bedded unit standing at 764 square feet, pretty in nature, extremely comfortable, be it for own stay or investment opportunities, great for square feet entry price. And if you'd like to find out more, do contact our listing managers, their descriptions as well as information can be found in the link below. In the meantime, do like and subscribe on all our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, as well as on TikTok. My name is Brian, Prop Team Brothers, always happy to show you the place. That if you do quite a fair bit of cooking, definitely you're gonna laugh. Laugh! What the? <laughs> English! <laughs> Surrounding the kind of parameter of the entire project wise. <laughs> what the hell? Is that? Oh my god! <laughs> Comfortably, you can fit in a four seater dining table. This is currently inbuilt. Okay. Wall to wall, comfortably, is about. Okay, how many this should be? Uh, the next one. Let's kick it off from the entrance itself. Uh, that's not good. Red river, my brain cannot think river. What the frick? Okay, so. Uh, da, da, da. Da, da, da.